Moving to a new country can be scary. Living in an unfamiliar place with a different language and culture, what used to be the simple task of grocery shopping can suddenly be intimidating. Hey guys, I'm Paul. And I'm Bea. And in this episode, we want to introduce you to the variety of stores that are available here in Valencia. We'll show you where to buy specific items, share some insights based on our experience, and afterwards, we hope you have an enjoyable shopping experience. We can't wait to share them with you. All this coming up after the intro. Grocery shopping in Valencia can be a unique and enjoyable experience with a focus on fresh, high quality ingredients and a strong tradition of supporting local businesses. Most Spaniards shop for food every few days visit their favorite vendors, and buy a little at a time. We've been living in Valencia for a little over a year, and we too have our favorite vendors and shops at the local market. Keep watching as we show you some of them here. But first, let's go to the things you might experience when grocery shopping in Valencia. First, in Spanish, mercado, or more importantly, mercat in Valencian, refers to a local market. Typically a food market, these mercats are divided into two parts. One part has locally sourced produce, meats, spices, other food products altogether, and in a separate section, seafood. Next, supermercado is the Spanish word for supermarket. A supermercado is a large indoor store where people can buy... You, you know what? You know what a supermarket is. Third are the tiendas or small shops. The more common tiendas are the alimentacion and the bazaars. Alimentacion is a Spanish word that refers to food or sustenance. In Spain, alimentacion is one kind of tienda which can be a convenience store or a fruit and vegetable stand or both. It can sometimes be called a fruteria. Bazaar is a small general store that can have a bit of everything that you'll need for your home. They sell office supplies, home and garden items, dishwares, small electronics, and small hardware items. The hours of operation of mercats, supermercados, and tiendas in Valencia can vary depending on the specific market or store. However, here is a general idea of what the hours might look like. Many mercats in Valencia are open on an average of 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. and are usually open from Mondays to Saturdays. Supermercado in Valencia typically has longer hours of operation, often from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. and is open from Monday to Saturday. The convenience stores or alimentaciones typically have longer hours than mercats but shorter hours than supermarkets. They are often open from 9 or 10 a.m. and close at 9 p.m but some close during siesta hours too. They are open from Mondays to Saturdays. It's always best to check with a specific market or store to confirm their hours of operation as they may vary based on holidays, special events, and other factors. Which leads me to my next tip. Groceries and mercats are closed on Sundays. So if you happen to be running low on food on a Saturday, that would be the best time for you to go ahead to the market because chances are there won't be a lot of groceries open on Sunday. Next point, contactless payments like Apple Pay and Google Pay can be used in Valencia. Majority of the retailers have them, but be sure before you pay, go ahead and ask them if they accept card by saying, Puedo pagar con tarjeta? When paying, all you have to do is say Pago con tarjeta. Activate your contactless payment app and have your phone close to the device's reader. Oh, and don't forget to say Euro porfa, just in case the reader gives you the option to pay in Euro or Dollars or whatever currency you have, just so you don't incur those large conversion rates. In Valencia, many people prefer to shop at local community markets or mercats instead of supermercados because of the variety of products, often cheaper and fresher than the supermercados, and shopping there gives one a glimpse into Valencian culture. As an added bonus, you get to support local businesses and practice your Spanish. 
Speaking of Spanish, being in the mercat means interacting with the vendors if you want to buy something. So here are the phrases to watch out for. Dime. Which means tell me. ¿Qué quieres? What do you want? Algo más? Anything else? Perdona. Sorry or excuse me. Tienes. Do you have... Which means that you have to add another Spanish word to that. So it could be like if you're looking for a tomato, that is a... Tomate. Gracias. Thank you. ¿Cuánto cuesta? How much does it cost? Ya está, gracias. That's all, thank you. Pago con tarjeta. I'll pay with card. Pago con efectivo. I'll pay cash. Bolsita quieres? Do you want a bag? No, gracias. Tengo bolsa. No, thank you. I have a bag. Typically in the mercats, there's no line. Instead, people ask who was last in line and then they watch out for that person's turn. And then after that person's turn is their turn. So we've picked up a few phrases to help you. La última, if you want to fall in line and you're asking who is the last person in line. Yo, if you're the last person in line and somebody asks who is la última. Siguiente or quien va when the vendor is asking who is next in line. You shouldn't touch the vegetables at the mercat. Just point. They're nice enough to choose the best ones for you anyway. If you're thinking of starting your week by eating healthy, you're out of luck because on Mondays, the seafood section is closed in the mercat. This leads me to my next point and kind of like insider information. Locals have been telling us that fishermen don't fish on Sundays. So if you happen to chance upon an open stall on a Monday, chances are you'll end up buying fish caught from the Saturday before. Now let's talk about the supermercados. Here are some of the biggest grocery chains in Valencia. Mercadona. Carrefour. Consum. El Corte Inglés Hipercor or Supermercado. Some of the more popular budget chains in Valencia are Lidl and Aldi. The grocery chains that are open on Sundays are Carrefour Express and Supermercats Charter. Aside from the typical canned sardines, tuna, and salmon, groceries in Valencia love seafood so much that they canned everything, including octopus or pulpo, cuttlefish or sepia, Cockles or berberechos, mussels or mejillones. Another thing I love about the canned food in Valencia are the complete meals like the stews. Fabada Asturiana, Cocido Madrileño, Cayos a la Madrileña. If you see yellow meat, don't be alarmed. Chicken has two versions here, corn fed and normal. You can purchase every part of the animal here. Some meats are displayed and sold with their heads still attached. Some supermercados bake their bread fresh on site and have a bread cutter available. I can't do a grocery shopping video and not say anything about potato chips because chips are life. Do know that there are not a lot of crazy flavors here. You can get freshly squeezed orange juice at grocery stores in Valencia and you don't even need to ask for assistance. All you have to do is grab the size of the container you want, place it by the bottom of the spout, and dispense. There are only three kinds of coffee in the grocery store. Mixed, which is mixta in Spanish, and mezcla in Valencian. Natural, or the regular version, and descafeinado, or decaf. You can take individual cans or bottles in grocery stores. Most of these stores have a take-as-you-need policy, but the best way to find out is to check and see if the six-pack or eight-packs already have missing items in them. Alcohol is relatively cheap. Don't be fooled by the low prices. Spain is a major wine-producing country with a long history of winemaking and a diverse range of local wines. The beers are equally as good. And if you want to try a local one, Turia beer is a popular brand of beer that is brewed here in Valencia. Cheers! Cheers! 
Most supermercados are within walking distance of someone's home. So a lot of locals just walk to the mercados and bring a caro de la compra or shopping cart and reusable shopping bags. The cost of a grocery cart or caro de la compra can vary depending on the brand, retailer, size, and material of the cart and like the durability of it. On average, a basic plastic grocery cart can cost anywhere from 20 to 50 euros, where a sturdy metal cart may cost upwards of 100 euros or more. If you happen to hop around one grocery store to another, you should know that it's customary to leave your shopping bags or carts that are full of groceries from other stores into one of these designated areas. If you go into a smaller owned store or like a small business like a tienda or a bazaar, they won't have these compartments. So typically you can just leave them by the cash register. You just tell the owner that I have some groceries. Can I leave them here while I shop around your store? But if you're going to the bigger supermercados, bring a euro coin with you for the storage compartments or chain links. Only Mercadona and El Corte Ingles offer free storage for outside groceries and bags. The rest you have to pay. Well, not necessarily pay. You just leave the coin in there and then when you're done, you get your euro back. They don't sell medicine in grocery stores. In Spain, the sale of medicine is regulated by the government and only licensed pharmacies are allowed to sell prescription and over-the-counter medications. These medications can be even just your regular ibuprofen, paracetamol, acetaminophen. These all have to be purchased from the pharmacies. In the supermercados in Valencia, there is typically a wide range of cooked food options available for purchase. Some common options include roasted or grilled meats, fried foods, paella and rice dishes, sandwiches and snacks, or baked goods. Speaking of food, the local mercat offer the same food that the supermercados have, but the ingredients come from the local vendors. From full meals to yummy desserts, the offerings at the mercat represent not only the culture, but also the residents that live in the city. Yeah, this is yeah just for him, yeah. They even offer raw seafood, which you can eat on the spot. Have to try this. If you don't find a place to eat at inside the mercat, you can always take your food to go or para llevar. and look for a good spot outside, sit, and enjoy the view. Just promise me that you'll clean up after yourself. Some supermercados have a designated area where you can reheat and eat the cooked food that you bought from their stores. Some are located in the front of the stores, but the others, you're gonna have to look a little harder. If you're craving for jamon but the mercat is already closed, don't worry because jamon is freshly cut at the supermercados too. If you're looking for Asian food products but your supermercado has a limited selection, Head on over to the La Roqueta area, just west of the Estacion Nord. Aside from Iperasia, which is the biggest Asian supermercado, there's plenty of smaller stores within La Roqueta that offer items at cheaper prices. This area is also called commonly as Jerusalem. Carniceria, pescaderia, polleria, panaderia, and pasteleria are different types of food establishments that specialize in different types of food products. Carniceria is a butcher shop. Pescaderia is a fishmonger. Poderia is a poultry shop. Panaderia is a bakery that specializes in bread and pastry. Pasteleria is a pastry shop that specializes in sweet baked goods and desserts. 
If you're looking for a proper place to throw away your used batteries or light bulbs, you can dispose of them at the supermercados. Usually, they have these receptacles posted before you enter the store. Specifically, we've seen this in Consume, and this is what they look like. Thanks for joining us on this tour of grocery shopping in Valencia. We hope you found it helpful and informative. If you have any questions or if you want to add anything, please let us know in the comment section below. We really appreciate it when you do that. Thanks to our patrons who bought us churros through Buy Me A Coffee and to our followers who tag us on social media for trying out our suggestions. If you want to know more about Valencia, you should check out this video. Until next time. Happy travels!